So I'm going to make an assumption and say that the majority of women, and men even, so both, want to lose fat, increase their muscle definition, and look and feel confident and healthy. The majority of people want that. So why do the majority of people struggle with that so much for their entire life? Like literally from the time they're 12 until they die. Like that is a huge struggle for the majority of our population. So I have people come to me and they say, wow, I've seen your client's transformation pictures. It's amazing. I want a transformation like that. And I love that. That's awesome. My clients are super inspirational and they work really, really hard. But coming to me and getting me as your trainer to get a transformation is not going to ensure whatsoever that you're going to get that transformation. If you paying me some money and signing off on the forms guaranteed a transformation like the ones that some of my clients have, everyone would look fucking great. (laughs) Um... The result of those transformations, they come from you. They do not come from me. I don't follow your meal plan for you. Like, I have my own meal plan to follow. I don't go to the gym for you. I don't drink your water. Like, that is all you. And that is the process. It's not just, and are going, oh my god, where's my results? And it's like, um, you haven't really put in fuck all for work. Uh, (laughs) That's where your results are. Your results are in the process. Your results aren't just going to come from being on a meal plan and going to the gym like you have to fucking work hard you have to live in line with that you're never you're never gonna reach your goal if you're not living as that person do you think someone who is fit and lean and shredded and healthy is fucking going out drinking every single night they're not (laughs) like you have to act in accordance to where you want to go because there's no like, the result can't come before the process. Like, it it can't. You can't just say, I want abs and wake up with abs. Like, you have to be that person who's getting abs, who's working towards that before it can come. Like, this, that's how it is. So, ask yourself, am I the person that I need to be to achieve my goal? Um, and if you're not then you need to fucking improve the process because the process is going to come before the result. So if you are in the majority of people who are struggling with fitness and struggling to be confident with their body, um, you need to act differently than the majority of people because the majority of people aren't meeting their fitness goals. Um, And they all act the same. And why are they acting the same? Because it's fucking easy. It's easy to go out and eat fast food it's easy to eat out it's easy to not look at the labels when you buy food um it's easy to drink alcohol and party it's not easy to fucking wake up early and get your shit done get the gym done get everything you know what else is really easy it's really easy to talk negatively about yourself it's really easy to say oh i'm weak or i'm fat or oh i did this i did that i'm doing this like that's not i can't do that that's really easy and people just say it because it's habit um it's not easy to talk about how fucking awesome you are um but you know what i talk about how awesome i am like if you know me you know that i really never say a bad thing about myself is that because i'm full of myself or cocky no um it's because i care about myself i'm with myself all the time i can't get away from myself so why would i speak to or about myself badly like So my point is, if you have a goal and your goal is to get better in one shape or form, you have to live in alignment with that goal before you're going to get a result. Um, And it's your responsibility to ensure that your thoughts, your actions, your lifestyle is helping you become that person.